In today's vlog, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Poly Jigs, Magic Metal Life. Awesome jigs. You know, this time of year, we're really not fishing these jigs, but come spring in another month or so, we're going to be fishing these jigs a lot for Barracuda, Calico Bass, Bonita. They all love them. They come in two different sizes. This is an MM7, MM5, in about four or five different colors. You can find them at your local tackle stores. Soon they're going to be in Turner's Outdoorsman, Sports Chalet. Uh, you can buy them at Cabalas.com right now. And locally, Save on Tackle has them here in Long Beach. We can always find these baits on our website at sportdeskfishing.com. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to fish these. Now, these jigs are designed to fish really close up to the surface. They're light. They're really light jigs. Normally, when you see a jig this size, you think you got to use a 9 or 10 foot custom rod with 30 or 40 pound test line. But actually, with a jig like this, MM7, MM5, I can throw it on a small bait caster like this. 20 pound test line on the MM5, maybe 15, but 20 pound test line is basically what you want to use. Use a little inshore rod like this, works out fine, a little trigger stick. And with this, I can cast this a long ways. And what I want this jig to do is just hit the water, count to about five or 10, let it sink a little bit. And then when I wind it in, I want to wind it in nice and easy and slow. I want that bait to kick from side to side. It has to kick side to side to get bit. A lot of people make the mistake they buy high speed reels and they want to crank them in really fast. You know, that works for some types of fishing, but when you're surface fishing, working a jig like this, you want to work your, your jig really slow. A 500 size reel or one of these type of reels I was showing you right here, just a nice slow reel, three to one reel will work good, four to one ratio reel will work good. Just want that lure just to kick slowly side to side. And these poly jigs have rattles in them and they have two sinkers in them. So not only will they kick side to side, but they'll also roll a little bit. And it really leads to a lot more fish, great action, they're a great jig. And again, the big selling point on this is you can throw a jig this big on a light outfit like this. You don't need a nine or 10 foot rod. This will work great. And like I said, if you work them too fast, if you crank them in really fast, the lure is gonna come straight in. There won't be any action. Nice and slow presentation. Let that lure kick side to side and watch those fish come up and explode on it. The barracuda actually fly out of the water and eat it. And once you get bit, just keep whining. It's all done from there, it's really nice. A 10 to 12 pound barracuda will swallow this much of the jig. And what's neat about it is all this part where the line's connected is outside of the fish's mouth. You don't have to worry about your line getting cut off. It's a great way to catch fish. And once you catch a lot of barracuda on them, this is what they uh, eventually start to look like start getting the paint off there and it still works. Catch a lot of fish on these. I catch barracuda, bonita, lots of calico bass on these poly jigs. They work out really good. Okay, well, in uh, future blogs, I'll be giving you more information about catching fish. If you have any questions, email me you know, at info at sport-fishing.com. Go to the website, send a comments, give me information. We have lots of video clips on YouTube, five minute video and on our website. Well, I'll see you back here tomorrow with another blog. And thanks for watching my show.